Hey, welcome back. It's uh, winter here again. Part four of the My Colony uh, game guide. So uh, I haven't done much since the last video, but uh, wanted to show you a mistake I made here in building. So I built three rows of uh, solar panels here. And if I wanted to upgrade, let's say this one, um, it would be that nothing happens because Builders can't get to it. It's kind of trapped in here. So kind of a bad layout by me here. <laughs> so and actually if you if you do an upgrade and you can't get to it, the only other thing here you, you can do cancel, but it's gonna actually delete it as well. So an easy fix for this is just to go and like sell sell like a row of these so they can actually get into this inner row again. Um, I'll do I'll, that. I'll, so I'll sell this row here and make sure that my sell key is disabled. Okay, so now we can now now they can get access to this row from this side or this row from this side. So we can actually upgrade. But we're kind of low on steel, so I'm actually not going to upgrade it at this point. But just wanted to show you. And then the same kind of thing over here. A bit of bit of cramping going on, like. They're going to have to come in here to build here. So I should probably move some stuff over. And also at this point, because I deleted a few of these, we're, we ran out of power. So I actually do have to upgrade one of these. So I'll do that now. Actually, I lost quite a bit of power when I deleted that row. So we'll upgrade a few of them. And we're out of steel, so <laughs> it's going to take some time. 235 steel. Actually, let's cancel that. And since we're like low on steel right now, I'll just build a bunch of standard solar panels again in, an, in this double row here. Because they only cost ore, and we got tons of ore, so. So don't build three rows in a row like that if you want to upgrade stuff. Easier just to do kind of rows of two and leave a space in between so that if you wanna if you wanna get there later, you can. So I'll build another whack of them here. And I'll put my pavement back that I deleted by mistake. So in the last video we uh, researched um, advanced building techniques, I think, something like that, which unlocked uh, a few things. The durable goods warehouse, which stores things like um, CPUs, which come later, uh, wood, oh, sorry, not wood, anything that's been kind of built up from a basic material. Um, food has its own custom storage, these silos. Water has its own custom storage. But for all the other kind of things that you build, they're going to they're gonna go in these durable warehouses, um, durable goods warehouses. And you got this research com a residential complex, which is a bigger version of the homes. These little, like these homes hold three residents, but these complexes hold uh, 26. There's even bigger versions of these later. There's like a apartment building and there's like a big hotel that comes later, which is it's into tourism and then there's subterranean uh, housing that holds a thousand people that comes much later in the game um, we're really low on steel so let's build more ore refineries you're gonna end up building a lot of these because I mean they're cheap we're only 1,200 ore and we have 220,000 ore right now. And also we're kind of running out of, they've used up all their uh, <clears throat> ore mines here, so we'll build another strip of them. So they can go and, oh, time to do payroll. And we got enough money, so that's fine. So we'll build a strip along there and then we'll build a strip along here. I mean, the ore 
miners will just chew through this really quickly, but we'll let them do their thing. And then these ones are idle, I think. Oh, actually, they're, hybrid. they're harvesting, never mind. Um, so other things that we got access to, the advanced ore refinery. Now, that's an upgrade for this building, but I'm, it costs 200 steel, sorry, 600 steel to upgrade this refinery. And yeah, it produces a lot more, but the payback time is, is quite a while. So eventually you want to upgrade these, but uh, in the meantime, you just want to build a whole bunch of them, the regular ones, because you got basically unlimited ore. Um, so I'll probably end up building like 40 or 50 of these and then slowly upgrade them as I get lots of steel. A few other things got unlocked in here. Um, the, uh, what else? This. I'm not sure if the small atmosphere generator was unlocked during this thing, but it lets you start building atmosphere. Um, right now we've got 600 or so. Some buildings produce, like these gold refineries, they make one atmosphere every so often, but these things are dedicated to pumping out atmosphere. And eventually, at, at, certain, at certain amounts of atmosphere, I think there's 500,000 and a million atmosphere you can grow like simple microbes and then once you get a million atmosphere you can build I think fish hatcheries and so basically like the more atmosphere you have the closer you're getting to earth and then once you go over a certain amount of atmosphere uh, you start to get global warming so that's kind of funny it's kind of like real life um, so you're gonna have to build a ton of these at some point and they're fairly cheap and they don't need um, they don't require workers, so sometimes I'll just build them off into the corner, like where they won't get in the way. So let's build one way the heck over here. And let's build a road to them. So that when we're building a strip of these along here, it'll be easier. Build a road out here too. Uh, Let's leave. You can eventually upgrade these, but I'll, I'll just build them in a row of two like I usually do. So build some pavement along here. So they do use power and they pump out some amount of atmosphere per second or per minute or whatever. Um, Okay, let's go, oh, we're kind of, we've hit our max number of colonists, so I'm going to build some more housing for them. Um, I'm not going to build a residential complexes just because they cost a ton of steel and it's gonna, we need to build up our steel. So just build another row of shelters here because they're cheap and they only require ore and we have tons of ore. So I'll do the same over here. Now these also can't be upgraded. Um, actually all the, I think all of the things that house your colonists can't be upgraded. Like each upgraded version has a new building type. So you'll end up just tearing these down, selling them when you don't need them anymore. I mean, eventually the limiting factor becomes space. You're gonna, you'll fill up all this space with buildings that are producing things that you want. Probably all alien technology, because that's the kind of the highest tier. Um, so eventually, you're gonna be micromanaging your space, and you'll be tearing down these things that are not optimal. Basically, the subterranean complex I think holds the most number of con uh, colonists per kind of per tile. And they're four by four and they hold a thousand, but that comes much later. So let's build a, let's build another row since they're cheap and fast. And also let's kind of speed up the rate at which colonists are coming to the planet and we can build more landing pads to do that. These do take up a lot of space, but they're cheap. 
You can also import food in these things. Um, I mean, we don't need to do that because we're we're growing our own food. But in a pinch, like let's say you forgot to build your food things and you were close to starving your colonists, you could just quickly buy some and import it. There's a gold miner over here. I'm not sure why he's there, but I'm going to park him over here. Once in a while, I, I might just like uh, long press. And in my first video, I think I mentioned you can long press on the vehicle to then select all units. But you can actually kind of click anywhere. You can hold down here and select all. It doesn't really matter. So, like just anywhere on the ground that doesn't have a building or path. Uh, and then you can, once you've selected multiple, you can select harvest usually. I'm not sure why that's not. I guess they're all harvesting, so there's no idle ones. Uh, okay, some more research. So, I'll do micro microgravity brewing next. Uh, let's you. It unlocks the distillery, the rum cellar. The distillery basically um, turns water into rum, and rum is delicious. It's one of my favorite drinks, and I think the colonists like to drink it as well. Uh, the rum cellar is just a storage point for the rum, and then later on there is. Uh, you can build a pub which uses the rum to provide entertainment for your guests. So let's build some, let's build a distillery off over here. They also um, require two workers, so they're like a, they're a means of employment as well. Uh, I won't build any rum cellars yet because we don't need them. Um, Nothing else got unlocked at that time. And then internet relay booths are also entertainment. Um, you can build them if you want. I, I never build them just because they're, they're... I'd rather build these green domes because they, they can hold more people. And yeah, they're bigger. So uh, let's research some more stuff. Advanced gold mining. Now this is a good one. What it does is it allows your gold vehicle to build its own gold mines. Now it builds them using ore and steel. Steel's kind of a precious resource right now, but let's just build one of them here. And once it's built, it's going to take a while, we'll come back to it. I think it holds 10,000 gold, but I'm not sure. But once it's built beside your refinery, kind of like these refineries, uh, the trucks won't have to pass all over the place to go out and get the gold. They can just pick it up here and take it there really fast, really efficient. And what else can we... Colonial finance theory. Not quite sure what this unlocks, but let's just find out. Maybe something will pop up here. Yes, the mass driver. So the mass driver is um, a way to import and export stuff from your planet. Pretty important. Um, costs a ton of steel, so we're not, not going to be able to build it yet. I'll build it probably in the next video. Um, but it's handy for selling things. And there's an upgraded version of it. This one allows you to buy and sell 100 unit lots of things. And then the upgraded version lets you sell a thousand lots. So you'll see it, it kind of, the thousand one saves you from clicking a lot because, um, I mean, one thing I ended up selling a lot of was water because I always had a lot of water and the prices for it were pretty decent. But I'll get into the trading thing in a different video. Um, I think I'll probably wrap up this video, uh, but in the next video I'll get into uh, this uh, low gravity manufacturing which unlocks uh, computer chip plants and these colony civics, which um, colonial civics, sorry, which unlock another kind of resource called civics, which you'll need to build things 
and eventually if you want to get independence from Earth, if you started with Earth as your planet, you need a ton of civics. So I'll wrap it up for now and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe or uh, leave a comment if, I, if you can have any feedback for you know, ways I can improve these videos or anything that you'd want me to go into. Thanks.